It looked like a beautiful palace or a very big hotel. But it wasn't made of stone. It was made of clouds. Immense, milky white clouds. When I reached the doors, they opened automatically. But perhaps they floated open. I can't say. I entered an enormous hall. It was so high and so wide that I felt dizzy. It seemed that I was standing on air. A bright light, like sunlight but not sunlight, reflected from the walls of cloud. Or were they made of snow? Then, far away on the other side of the hall, I saw somebody behind a large reception desk. This is like a hotel, I thought as I walked towards it. But what a hotel! It's beautiful! This must be heaven! It was a long walk, but I was smiling to myself all the way. I felt very happy now. I thought, you tried to be a good person all your life. You always did your best to help people, to do good things, and to love your neighbor. You always knew that you would go to heaven. And now, here you are. Yes. I felt so happy that I wanted to sing. I think I did sing. Quietly, of course. I didn't want to disturb the peace and silence of heaven. I stopped at the reception desk where a man of about 45 was waiting for me. He wore a green suit of shiny material, like plastic. And a beautiful golden cloak. He looked up at me. Name? I told him. He found it on a computer. We need some details about you, he said. When were you born? I told him. When did you die? The exact time, please. Early this morning, I think. About five thirty. But but I'm not sure about it because I was dead. I smiled. The receptionist looked at me coldly. He was English, calm, polite. Occupation. I told him. Then he wanted details about my family and friends, my habits. My favorite food, in fact, everything about my life. It was like an interrogation, but I felt very relaxed and friendly. I wanted to have a chat. Wonderful place you've got here, I began. It's exactly as I imagined it. The man didn't even look at me. Imagined what? May I ask? Heaven, of course. I'm very happy to be here. There's only one bad thing. All my best friends will be in hell. <laughs> And I laughed at this bad joke. This is not heaven, sir, the man said, very polite but cold. This is only reception. I was shocked. But it must be heaven. Why must it? Because, because, well, you've heard the details of my life. I mean, I've always been a good man, and if you're good, you'll go to heaven. But if you're. Uh... Everybody says that, sir, the man interrupted. I know you all think that on earth. But we have a different logic here, for practical reasons. 
Think of the problems if good people always go to heaven and bad people always go to hell. There will be very few people in heaven and too many people in hell. There isn't enough room in hell. So we have a more practical system. Everybody must take his or her chance. Chance? What do you mean? I was beginning to feel a bit frightened. At that moment, the computer buzzed and a piece of paper came out. Here's your reception form, sir. And this is your green card. Go through the doors behind me and walk along the road. You will see two large gates. In front of them are some slot machines. Insert your green card into the left-hand slot and you will see two dice in the display window. Pull the handle and when the dice stop, the machine will deliver a white card for any number from 1 to 6 and a black card for any number from 7 to 12. The white card opens the gate on the right, the black card opens the left. The left goes to hell, the right to heaven. I couldn't believe my ears and I just stared at him. Then I became angry. But that's not fair! I shouted. It's as fair as we can make it, sir. But it's just chance, luck, accident. It's a lottery. Yes, sir. But it's God's orders and we can't change it. God's orders? I shouted, furious. But it means that Jack the Ripper, for example, could be in heaven. Jack the Ripper? I've heard the name before. Let me see. The receptionist opened a large file. Yes, Jack the Ripper. He arrived about a hundred Earth years ago. I don't remember very well, but I think he was quite pleased with our system. I'm sure he was, I said angrily, and I'm sure he went to heaven. Then I looked quickly at the clerk. Well, did he? The man looked embarrassed. I'm sorry, but that is not relevant to the laws of the universe. If I remember well, there was a Mr. Albert Einstein who arrived about 40 years ago. He was a good man too, I believe, and like you, he was very upset by our system. He couldn't accept it. He said that he didn't believe that God plays dice. I told him that God certainly plays dice and that it was the fundamental reality of the universe. Yes, Mr. Einstein was very unhappy about that because he had helped to discover it, so he said. I didn't answer. I was too upset to speak. I took the form and the green card and walked quickly to the doors behind the reception desk. They floated open. There was a long road in front of me. In the distance, I could see two enormous gates, one white, one black. I never smoked. I never drank. I never gambled. I never stole any money. I never hurt anybody. Of course, I was careful about my health, and I looked after my money, like everybody else. I wasn't stupid. But now... I could be with thieves, murderers, politicians, for the rest of eternity. It's really terrible. 
And so I sat there and talked like a lunatic. Sometimes I looked at the handle of the slot machine which was waiting for me, and I trembled. Who are we? Oh, there are so many good, kind people here. I can't remember all their names. You mean those people are all here? In hell? But it's not hell anymore. It's the dice, you see. The dice? No, I, I don't see. Please explain. Well, for a long time, a lot of good people scored more than six and got a black card. So now there are more good people than bad people. She looked a bit shocked. Oh, no. I'm sure God is an honest gambler. It happened by accident. Hmm. Well... Let's say it's another one of God's secrets, eh? And I gave her a big wink. What about Jack the Ripper? Is he here? Jack the Ripper? She looked through her file. No, he isn't here. He must be on the other side, in heaven. I laughed and laughed. The receptionist said quietly, between you and me, we've heard that they are having a lot of trouble in heaven. I laughed again, and tears of happiness came into my eyes. Welcome to Paradise Regained, said the woman with a big, sweet smile. Have a nice eternity. <laughs> Thank you. This place looks better than Earth. At that moment, an intercom buzzed. And the woman answered. Reception 3 speaking. Can I help you? As she listened, her expression changed. It became dark and anxious. Oh, I see. Thank you, Reception 1. She was silent. Anything wrong? I asked. Uh, who are they? I had a bad feeling in my stomach. Reception One says it's a group of terrorists, child killers, mafiosi, football hooligans, drug barons. I cried, Please, God, let them all go to heaven. I pray, I pray. I'm sorry, but praying won't help. It all depends on the dice. And that's God's secret, I said, laughing and crying at the same time. While we waited, the silence was long and terrible. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel to see the latest videos. Thank you.